Hey, so I know it's been a while since I posted my last uh, YouTube video. Um, things got pretty busy for me after that, but um, I got so many comments asking for why I only had one video on my channel, so I thought I'd make uh, make another one. And this is a, like a cool trick I uh, recently just learned that I've been using to make my own comic, uh, to make it look more cinematic, my own comic Shadow Operative, and um, we're going to be trying it out on the main character here. And I basically just painted this in a in local color. There's no color lights hitting her. It's you know this is fine, a fine look, but I kind of want it to look more cinematic, and I want to cool the light. Like I want a cooler light hitting her. And this is basically what they would refer to in uh, film as a raw footage. And if you Google it, you'll see that like raw footage, this filmed a certain way, so they can go and they can edit. It. In the edit, they make the uh, they color it up. They make it look more interesting. Like you see here, like uh, they, they warmed up her skin tone. They added like a cool light in the back. Uh, and same thing with this next one. Like they, they use a cool light that's hitting her face as opposed to that like bland raw footage look. And that's basically what I'm going to be showing you guys today, how you can do that to your paintings. Um, so again, we have the main character from my book. And I'm going to make it look like a blue light is hitting her rather than just like a standard uh, light coming from because you know I just think it'll make it look more interesting uh, and maybe blend her in with the background a bit more so so I, what I do is I uh, create a new layer with a clipping mask I'll name it color grade and then I'll add a blue swatch I'll desaturate and brighten it and I'll pull the, uh, the color wheel down to blue a little bit more and then I'll fill that layer with that color and then change the blending mode to multiply now it looks a little dark, but the best thing about Photoshop is you have total control over all your layers. So I'll go into the Hue Saturation menu, and what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to brighten it, and I'm going to saturate it a bit more so it doesn't look as dark, and it also makes it look like that maybe she's like standing next to a window and like a moonlight is hitting her, or some kind of ambient blue light is spilling in from like the next room and hitting her. And it's just a really cool trick that I think makes my art look a little bit more interesting and more cinematic. And uh, there's actually a, you can actually even manipulate this more by going back into the adjustments menu and pulling out color balance. And what I do is I add a little bit more blue to that light and bring in a little bit of cyan too. And and I also for this one I cool my shadows a bit because they were just looking a little a little weird. And uh, yeah, that's basically it for that. Like she's looked like she's getting hit by a moonlight as you can see it's a very different from how it originally looked but the only thing is now to make it look more cinematic is i'm going to hit her with a rim light to pop her out from that background a bit more because it's looking a bit dark on the right side of her um of her face so what i'm going to do is i'm going to paint in like an orange light uh to pop her out and i'll turn my line on on and i'll just paint it in with a chalk brush at first with that orange color in the swatches palette See, I'll start painting with the orange color and just a standard chalk brush using my line art as a guide again. Just to add some like fill and some light to that side of her because she's look it looks really dark. And it's like you can lose her in the background. And sometimes I may go for that look for this book, but in this particular, uh, for this example, I'm just going to show you guys that, you know, because there's something cool you can do right after this. So I'll just like fill in these shadows a little bit. You know, use, uh, bring in a little detail in there and just pop her out from the uh, background. And then I'll set my brush to linear darge and I'll just paint in some, some little bright spots, like highlight spots that make it look like the light is really hitting her. I always really like um, that effect. So the cool part about this trick is that now if I wanted to go back and change like maybe a different color, I could just, I could just pull up the hue saturation menu and that, the color grade layer. And I can change it. Now I can make it an orange light, a warmer light hitting her. And manipulate that. Which I also think is really cool about this trick. And then I can turn my rim light on and do the same thing. I can literally make this now. I can make this into like a teal uh, a teal color. So it's like an oh, now I have an orange and teal color palette popping her out from the background. And it's cool because if you're working like in a, a concept art environment or you just you, you want to have complete control, like 
they might not like your lighting and the art director might tell you, be like, oh, you know, I kind of want to see how it looks in this situation. And you can just go back to your layer and change it. And uh, for this example, I'm going to show you, I think the it works a bit better where there's two, when the, even when there's more light on the character's face. So again, here's my character from my book, Shadow Operative. I'm going to do the same thing, create a uh, color grade layer with the clipping mask, same blue color, put it to multiply in this. Oh, and, and you can also use the overlay layer. Like, uh, sometimes I use overlay depending on what, you know, then I have to, like, uh, darken the color a bit. But in this example, I'm going to use, the, I think I get a better result with a multiply effect on the layer instead of overlay. And that, I really don't really have to do too much to this one. This kind of looks good, but I think I do brighten it up and maybe slightly saturate it. Yeah, see, I bring up the brightness a bit, saturate it a bit more, and I'm thinking that looks pretty cool. So, but a cool trick about this is I could take this even further. I actually think I just add a bit of cyan into the into the mix here with these uh, with the color balance layer again. But the cool thing about this one is that like you ever watch like a Nor, an old Nor movie and like somebody's standing in a dark room and like maybe a light is shining through the blinds and it's you got those like lines across the face. It's like they they call it the Nor look. Like, uh, you could actually do that with this trick, too. You can get, like, pretty much any cinematic lighting scenario you want. And, like, you have complete control over, like, your art with these uh, Photoshop layers. So I just take the marquee tool, make a couple of uh, boxes here, a couple of bars, and I fill it with a darker blue. I just darken that same blue I use for the color grade layer. And I fill it in. It's got a clipping mask, so it's only going to affect... My character here and then I set this layer uh, to multiply and I think that just looks really really cool already it's starting to you know you can see where I'm going and get a little bit of a nor look here and I just uh, you know you can manipulate the lines make them bigger make them smaller and I think I make it bigger I just want kind of want to make it look like you know like she's in a dark room and like light is spilling in through like a crack or in the wall and like it's only showing her eyes and the only thing about this is like those lines, the edges of those lines look a bit harsh. So all you can do to fix that is you go into the blur menu, Gaussian blur, and I think I give it about like 23% per, um, percent radius, uh, 23 pixel uh, blur, and that softens up those lines a bit, makes it look a bit more realistic, I think. And it's just, now it looks like a Nor, like a Nor film. So... I, uh, I start doing this trick because sometimes when I when I start working, when I start painting, I, I don't really know what type of lighting I want. I kind of just paint everything in a local color. And then I'll go, like, I'll, I'll stop painting and I'll go uh, watch, like, a, a movie or a show and I'll look at the lighting there. And I'm like, that's a, you know, that looks really cool. Like, in this case, I think I was, in this inspiration for this, I was watching The Boys. And I think The Boys has a really cool um, cinematography and lighting. So I was like, and I just started messing with the Photoshop layers and looking for YouTube videos and how to do it, but I kind of, you know, I didn't really see anything that uh, would show me something like this. But I found that these, the multiply and the, the overlay layers really work in this scenario. So yeah, it's a, it's a quick video today. Um, if you guys uh, like the video, you can like and subscribe. Um, and if you do end up using this trick, uh, uh, leave me your Instagram or your art station or your DeviantArt down in the comments so I can take a look at it because I always like to look at new art and I just think it's really cool but that's it thanks guys